Attendance was up at the synagogue this Tuesday. The rabbi, the prophet, the miracle worker, Jesus had come to town. And his followers had gathered because they were excited about hearing him teach one more time. And perhaps, just perhaps, uh, they would see another miracle. But not everyone in the crowd had honorable intentions. They weren't there in excitement. They were there with less than honorable motives. They had come to listen, to catch Jesus in his own words, that he might incriminate himself, that those in power might come and condemn him. These were the religious leaders. These were the Pharisees and the scribes. But Jesus was not fooled by their presence there. As he spoke, he looked past his followers and he looked into the eyes, into the very souls of those who opposed him. He could see their disingenuous hearts. He knew why they were there. The king of the invisible kingdom would not be deceived or intimidated by the kingdom of the corrupt. Jesus pronounced eight woes upon them as he identified their shallow, hypocritical religion and the rotten fruit that led many to the gates of hell. He called them whitewashed tombs. You see, outwardly they looked clean and bright, but they were nothing but rotting flesh and bones inside, reeking of decay. Again, Jesus is exposing the failure of the visible kingdom. And as he gets closer to the cross, he will continue to make way for the invisible kingdom to come. You see, God does not look at our outward appearance, but he looks at our hearts. These religious leaders walk to impress the earthly. They live for the visible kingdom. But Jesus calls us to seek his kingdom first, the invisible kingdom that changes hearts. Thank you.